days? I mean, what can be scarier than World War III coming at us? Who wants to wear a Halloween mask when we've had to wear a COVID mask for three years? Kids can't go trick-or-treating. It encourages binge eating. Dressing as a skeleton invites bulimia in the young. The Great Pumpkin, is that a new excuse for fat shaming? Who wants to do a monster mash while social distancing? Moving night? All the lawn furniture got stolen anyway. There's nothing left to move. Toilet papering the street? None available. Back order, supply chain issues. I put a spell on you? Screaming Jay Hawk and Sparrows, we already got monkey balls or whatever it's called. Some say drag queens closet trans without the nerve to go the whole way. Is that scary? I'll tell you what's scary, the homeless situation in America. It's Mortville everywhere, and nobody's calling it Backwards Day, and there's nobody giving out treats there this Halloween. San Francisco, oh God, my neighborhood, it's highfalutin, but now I see people sitting on the curb shooting up. Make yourself comfortable, I say. My friend said they shit between the cars out front of my house every night. He said, I heard somebody on the roof. I went up there. There was human turds on my roof. People are climbing on your roof to take a shit? You know, I, I was always amazed in Hurricane Katrina when they looted the fancy stores. After they stole everything, what they didn't steal, they took a shit and wrapped it back up in the tissue paper and put it back on the shelves. I mean, that the rich people said when they broke into their houses, they put turds inside their bed and remade the bed. How did the turd word spread when there was no cell phone coverage? And more importantly, how were they regular enough to do this everywhere? The biggest scare I got for Halloween this year was an aggressive, crazy street guy who cut out a piece of cardboard like a beach towel in San Francisco and he was sunning himself. This was on the sidewalk. This was not an isolated incident. He had a tan on his emaciated body. Oh yeah, he was jerking off too. But maybe I'm a punk rock pussy. Maybe we should scare him right back. If you can't beat him, beat off with him. Let's go in the guys, in the streets, guy. Whip it out, a root out, right? Ladies, time to paddle the pink canoe in public. Trans muffing is a terrible thing to do in private. Yet most of us have taken a piss outside, yes. But I'm 76 and I never took a dump on the street. But maybe it's time. Can pinching a loaf be punk political? between gas-guzzling cars? How about on the roof? How about on Clarence Thomas's roof? He's, he's trying to eliminate our, our rights. Why can't we eliminate on his? Tricks? Okay, but update them. Toilet paper your street, but be environmentally correct and recycle and do it with used toilet paper. Then Screamin' Jay Hawkins can sing, I put a smell on you. Give banned books to children, not candy. Moving night, don't move their stuff, move in with them. Creepy crawling doesn't have to be bad. Leave something good witchy. Drag queens, time for you to honor female female impersonators like Elvira, but ask her to dress as the new lesbian version, Butch Elvira. Drag kings, take over Halloween. It's your turn this year. Be strap on RuPaul, Man Bunny, Dino Dirty Martina, Peach's Devil Christ. How's that for scary? All right, our next musical guest even scares me. We go way back in the punk circuit. We even toured together back in the 80s. I've been a big fan of her always. She's scary. She's fingered. She makes Nina Hagen look like a debutante. And she's always on both sides of my brain. She's self-empowered through domination and may have given teenage Jesus a rosary job. Yeah! She doesn't carve pumpkins. She carves up pig fucking men. She's done filthy spoken word diatribes with Exene and Henry Rollins and sang such evil hits as Lady Scarface, Dance of the Dead Children, and a cesspool called History. 
She's scary sexy. She shrieks like the mutilated. She's an unmellow senior in your face with disgrace. She's not goth. She's not new wave. She's a punk rock monster. And she's been known to attack her audience. <laughs> One critic said, I'm glad I won't meet, meet her or any of her band down a dark alley. Well, you're going to meet him tonight. Look out, Mosswood Park. Here comes Lydia Lunch Retrovirus. You will meet me in a dark alley later, motherfucker. <laughs> No fucking clue. I'm really happy to be here, Ghana. <laughs> Thank you, John. Yeah, we go way back, all right, back to other backwood LAs. And three about drag kings, honey, I've been in drag my whole fucking life. The drag king? I consider myself the drag king of New York. Thank you very much. Yeah. Retrovirus! <laughs> <laughs> 